What's up guys, so before we get into this video, we just wanted to mention that we recently opened our own free Discord server where you guys can feel free to ask questions about trading and also talk with other like-minded traders which all have for goal to succeed in this industry. We will also post our plans in the pre-market plan section and give you guys intraday updates regarding the markets. So if you want to join, you can find the link in the video's description. Now let's get into the video what's up guys in this video i'm going to explain the concept of futures and how they work a futures market is an auction market in which participants buy and sell future contracts for delivery on a specified future date so these future contracts can either be commodities such as coffee soybeans corn or securities such as market indices like the s p 500 the es the nasdaq which is forward slash nq or even the dow forward slash ym so how are futures different from stocks then? While futures are not measured in an actual currency such as the US dollar, they work in points and ticks. Therefore what you see on the sidebar right here is not a certain dollar value, but the futures point value. For example, the S&P futures is worth 3822 points as of now. Then you might ask, how much is a point worth? You guys must first understand that a point equals a certain amount of ticks. For the S&P 500, as an example, a tick is 0 0.25 of a point, so therefore a quarter of a point. So therefore, one point equals four ticks. Of course, all of these values, including how many ticks make up a point, vary from future to future. In this case, so the case of the S&P 500, also known as the ES, a tick is worth $12.5. That being said, a point will therefore be valued at $50 as a point is made up of four ticks. For the NASDAQ, a tick is worth $6.25 and a point is made out of, again, by coincidence, 4 ticks. Therefore, it is valued at $25. If you're looking to trade other futures, you can just look up X future point tick value as it will give you the value of a tick but also what fraction of a point it is. Now let me show you what this looks like on an actual chart. Let's say you bought an S&P 500 future contract at $3,790 and you sold at 3800 you made a profit of 10 points in order to calculate how much you actually made in terms of currency you must multiply the number of points you made times the value of a point so in this case you would have made 500 dollars but of course this is also available for the downside which is why a tight stop loss is key when trading futures now i'm going to show you guys how much a contract actually costs to purchase and, as you might guess, the purchasing price of a contract is not the number of points times the value of a point. If it were to be like this, futures would be completely useless. The price you need to check when looking to buy a future contract is the intraday margin of the contract you're looking to buy. So, for the ES as an example, you need $550 to buy a contract. However, these values vary from, from a future to another. Therefore, you can control a large sum of money with their relatively small initial purchasing price which also means you could technically lose more than you initially deposited which is a big downside when trading futures however the broker will give you what is called a margin call before your account actually goes negative as you notice futures have big profit margins and are quite cheap to buy however they are very risky nonetheless there is one way to minimize risk trading micro futures micro futures are still a normal future contract but with their lower point value so the micro future of the S&P 500 for instance is forward slash MES and its point value is worth five dollars which is one tenth of the point value of a normal ES contract this is also valid for the intraday margin in order to trade an MES contract you technically only need fifty five dollars in order to buy a contract which is again a tenth of the normal e mini value Obviously, the wins will be significantly smaller, but the losses too. So if you guys are considering trading futures, make sure you know everything about this type of market. Be aware of the potential losses. And I would highly, highly recommend that you guys start with micro futures as they involve a much smaller risk. See you guys in the next video.